Okay, so uh, I am excited to share this, you know, a kind of series, five C to overcome five hindrances. You might hear this middle way meditation teaching in uh, different occasion, but this is uh, actually the first time that I talk through the lens of five C. So I'm excited to share with you. Yeah, you might hear this uh, <laughs> term quite often during this time, luminous mind. Yeah, luminous mind, luminous mind. Yeah, that's the name that you will be hearing a lot in this coming two years, which uh, we would like to spark luminous minds around the world, millions of minds. Yeah, let's start with millions of minds around the world, with luminous minds. To prepare to billions in the future so this is important what Buddha said thousand years ago in Ankutara Nikaya luminous monk is the mind but is it defined by adventitious defilements yeah, if you are native speaker you might know that term adventitious if you are not I explain to you Buddha explained deeply inside he talked to the monk yeah, but actually it means everyone, but he addressed the monk, monk, listen to me. Everyone is luminous, is bright shining, is good. But it is defined. Yeah, it become not bright, it become negative, greedy, angry, delusional in many ways, fighting right now. <laughs> it's defined state of the mind. It comes from advantages, advantages is like a visitor. So there's something from outside. Mm, yeah, when I say outside, is <laughs> it outside in the inside? <laughs> I show you some picture. You understand what I'm talking. At the core, it's shining, luminous mind. But there's something come in, advantageous with it. So with the practice, we can eradicate that come the enlightenment of Prince Tada who become Buddha we all have that luminous mind and anytime someone look bad someone do something not right it's not that permanent state with the right knowledge with the right condition we can fix it yeah there are many cases in Buddha time that Buddha can really teach even the serial killer Ankurimala, serial killer, become enlightened at the end of his life. So don't give up hope on anyone. If they look like troublemaker, remember deep inside luminous mind. But we need to work on it. How we can overcome that advantageous defilement that come with the mind. Can you follow this well? Uh, it's not too complicated, but it'll be subtle. And sometimes through the media, uh, we cannot accept it very well <laughs> that deep inside we are the angel. Yeah. Can you tie number five? If you can follow me well, that that's the way out. That is the solution. If we can open the door of the luminous mind, yeah, we'll be hopeful. Yeah. And why I encourage everyone to practice to achieve luminous minds a lot? Because along the way to luminous mind, once you achieve luminous mind, uh, in Pali, cannot it call it Patomachana, or the first shana absorption. In the language of Long Puat Paknam, he called Patamaka, the initial path, like uh, the gate to Nirvana through the process to achieve the luminous mind your awareness become better you know better concentration in your work better attention to your family member and then sustain awareness it become very sharp very clear and once you have deeper concentration joy come happiness come and then one pointedness come do you think that's a good thing along the way to luminous mind yeah Thai uh, a lot of number five. 
that yes, that five factors of absorption or the jhana is something to explore. That through the practice of discipline, meditation, wisdom, and you gain apply awareness, sustain awareness, joy, happiness, and one pointedness. Life would be different when we attain that jhana. The way we see ourselves, the way we see our family, the way we see our work, or even the world. It will be hopeful, not hopeless. <laughs> because that mind, shining, luminous, will change the world from within. Oh, sad. To a lot number five. <laughs> if you think that, yeah, that's interesting. I want to know more about luminous mind and how we get through this five factors of China through the practice. Yeah, and this is luminous mind explained by Lung Puwa Praknam. Yeah, on the day that he experienced Patamaka, the initial path, he said, my mind become more serene until it come to a standstill. At a single point, at the center part of my body, appearing a bright sphere, the sight of the yolk of an egg, steadfast and joyous at my center. Oh, Satu. Yeah, that luminous mind by Lung Pu Wat Pak Na. It very lucid, right? How he explained his experience. Joyous, see? Joy is there. When you charge the luminous mind and it's bright and, you know, that exactly the five factor single point drop in. Yeah, you can follow that well tight number eight. Yeah, through the number eight four path, you can touch that luminous mind. Yeah, Thai number eight, if you connect to that explanation by Lung Pu Wat Pak Nam, very well. And you wish, yes, I want to practice follow the sharing of the founding teacher of the Middle Way Meditation, Lung Pu Wat Pak Nam. So, are you hopeful for your luminous mind? Yeah, if you are hopeful, I want to show you what blocks us from attaining the luminous mind. Also from the same book, Ankutara Nikaya, yeah, Buddha talk a lot about luminous mind in Ankutara Nikaya. Buddha talk about the hindrances to luminous mind also in the same book, Ankutara Nikaya. Buddha said, there are these five hindrances that weaken wisdom. What five? Sensual desire, ill will, drowsiness, restlessness, and doubt. Without having abandoned these hindrances, it is, it is impossible for a person to know his own good, the good of others, or good of both. All relies a superhuman distinction in knowledge and vision, worthy of noble ones. Yes, wow, that is very powerful. So I put it clearer, simple for you. Why we not achieve luminous mind yet? Sensual design. <laughs> I want to eat this, I want to buy that, you know, those things. And then when you meditate, it keep popping up. Wow, that's a new bag. That's a new car. <laughs> Ill will. Someone make trouble to you and then you cannot let go. Drowsiness, right? Sleepy. Restlessness. You meditate and you feel cramp in your leg. Or, wow, I forget to go to the bank. You know, those random thoughts. And then doubt. Ooh, my mind is still. What's that? Or, wow, there's a flash of light in front of me. Someone turn on the light. <laughs> you know, those doubt make you not still. And then you cannot achieve luminous mind. How to attain the luminous mind? How? Okay, thanks to uh, Mang Nemiton who made this interesting graphic. <laughs> yeah, I, I show you that I, I said that uh, hindrances is on the outside, but it in the inside, I mean inside, I mean inside us, but it outside luminous mind. 
Can you follow that? Please try number three. Number three. If you can follow well that. Five hindrances or defilements on the outside. Outside luminous mind. But inside our consciousness. It kind of mix up. Mix up a bit. So when we meditate, it looks like we have a needle. Right? You, you imagine kind of bubble or, or that's something like a expand. We need a needle to pierce through five hindrances. Central desire come, be still. You will come, drowsiness come, restlessness come, or doubt come, be still. And let the five C forge that stillness and penetrate to the five hindrances. Then the luminous mind will just expand. You know, like in the movie, that something inside and then it explodes. Woo, gone. Yeah, darkness gone and then luminous mind is there. Interesting? Yes, we're gonna do that. So, in this uh, coming, uh, actually this month, <laughs> this month that uh, I will uh, reserve Sunday, normally on Sunday, we have Buddha teaching in the modern world. But because this is like continuous series and I really want you to study one by one, one by one consistently. So we're gonna resume Buddha teaching in the modern world uh, next month. This month, basically two times a week, I will go through this 5C. Commitment to overcome sensual desire. Comfort to overcome ill will. Consciousness to overcome drowsiness. Consistency to overcome breathlessness and consideration to overcome doubt. That 5C to overcome five hindrances. So with that 5C, we're gonna assemble that powerful needle, <laughs> pierce through five hindrances and get to the core of our mind. Let it shine. Yeah. So that's the plan. Yeah, today overview of 5C. This Sunday, commitment. Uh, Wednesday, comfort. Sunday, consciousness. And then we have a full moon day. During that week, we skip on that Wednesday. And continue on Sunday, consistency. And then one Friday on consideration. And we complete on March 27, the review of 5C. I hope you will... Uh, not miss this series of <laughs> Luminous Mind. Yeah, I'm very uh, excited to let you know and hope you will have that 5C needle in your hand and then penetrate to that hindrances, touch the Luminous Mind. And you will be able to verify by yourself the test of Dharma excels all tests. Original form of Dharma, not in the book, not in your thinking is pure nature inside you that is original dharma residing inside you and that is luminous mind that you will feel how joyful happy and free from all trouble from all negativities let's see and prove this by yourself the taste of dharma excel our test Satu. I pass the microphone back to uh, Alex yeah, for dairy sharing. Yeah, hope you're looking forward to this series of five C's. <laughs>